Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Mil Millstone. <coughs> Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a short lesson. There is a lot of things happening uh, throughout the world. Um, other things happening. We see what's what's been happening uh, past couple of days. What's in Ohio with the um, the train, the train that was derailed, you know, and a uh, whole bunch of different uh, you know chemicals was found in the air in the water. So um, we have to be circumspect, be aware. We know spring is approaching spring summer you know and uh we don't know what's going to happen you know during uh you know this fall during this uh harvest because uh there's going to be a lot of chemicals in the air a lot of they're destroying a lot of different farms different land so we have to be aware uh you know, if you have certain things stocked up, it's um, very important, you know, to be aware and uh, stock up on certain things because we don't know if there's going to be a power outage or anything. But um, you have to rely on faith at the first and foremost. But, um, this is all in the flowing in the spirit. Um, lamentation. 4 verse 9 they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger for these pain these pine away and strike through for want of the fruit of the field right and uh, basically you know like this happened to the israelites you know throughout the land you know when we're in the land and uh you know um there's always been uh you know punishments you know of uh of the of our people because we have uh, transgressed against the heavenly father so the most uh, he brought out a famine you know that happened um you know during the time of um it happened many times you know but uh you know that's gonna happen again that's gonna happen again and uh right now this is orchestrated because these people already have all the food you know through the different ports you know through these uh these truckers uh yesterday i was just uh i got a ride i got a drive you know going to the camp and uh there was a lot of uh the, the freedom convoy like they were uh, driving and they're protesting downtown um you know and we see what they did with the whole uh you know the whole trucker convoy in uh last year you know and they basically uh seized their accounts their banks you know and uh you know so they basically like they it's a domino effect they basically like crippled that whole movement you know and uh because esau he's 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 uh he's strategic and basically uh they hit the truckers where it hurts you know so they seized their bank account so they're so they weren't able to go out there and go honk their horns and protest and uh you know so uh we're in serious times. We don't know what March is gonna bring. We know March is uh, the God of War, you know. So um, we know that March is a serious time. Going, you know, going to the spring. Hopefully, we have an early spring, but uh, there's gonna be a lot of things that's gonna happen. Passover is coming around. It's coming up, and. Um, there's gonna be a lot of destruction man so um we gotta brace ourselves 
and be prepared. Uh, you know, this whole chapter, you know, this whole book of Ezra is about uh, second Ezra 15 and 16. We're living in these times, we're now revelations, you know. Uh, second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. So who is the one who's putting this, you know, the words, you know, in the prophet's mouth? Is Yahweh Shai. And we're going out there, you know, on the highways and byways, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. And uh, we're the watchmen, all right? And we're the seers. We're the ones who see things before they happen, right? And we, and we measure things that happen according to the Bible, according to the scriptures, all right? So we're the seers, all right? And... Um, you know that we're the only one to have the eye solve to see all right and uh these other people the two-thirds you know of our people you know the reprobates and the undesirable they're uh the lord's not dealing with them all right and uh you know you have the nations and whatever but um for the most part that these other nations are more woke you know that they're more awoke, uh, awoke than our people, man. Because our people, uh, they scoff. Our people are uh, drunk with Babylon juice, man, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. So just like how the prophets, you know, all the prophets, they uh, you know wrote down things that they saw. In the Bible, in uh, like a, you know, in a, in a, in a paper, you know, and um, thus we have the scriptures, you know, which was uh, basically uh, was set up, you know, uh, King James II, which he's an Israelite, and uh, you know he, uh, you know he orchestrated, he he set up, uh, he set up the uh, the scribes. You know to uh, you know to complement like to basically um, you know set up like you know like, like to write down these things in uh, in in um, confirmation if, if that's how I say it, it's like a of a book right and basically uh, thus uh, we have the Bible you know and. Um, you know, he basically he was beheaded too, because there was uh you had the Jacobites, you know the Stuarts, and basically the Hesmonian dynasty, which um, you know Jake took over, right? Because there was internal warfare, and then uh, you had like King James the first, the second, no stuck out. I mean, King George the first, the second, the third, and. Um, you know, Queen Victoria, Charlotte Sophia, King uh, George the Third, and then basically we fell. Um, but um, fear not the imagination against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. All right. So uh, you know, people feel like you know that things are gonna go back to normal how it was. But um, you know, we're you know like we're we you know that, that we're telling them you know that thing that's gonna happen on the land, but they, you know the people want to scoff, and, you know. But soon, you know, you people are gonna be crying, man, out here. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right. So. Uh, See what's happening around the world. See what's happening in Turkey, um, Syria. 7.8 earthquake. You know, um, Ohio, you know, with the train derailment, the train derailing. Um, it's also um, up, uh, affected uh, certain parts of Ontario, Lake Ontario, or Lake Erie, Slakia, yeah? not Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, you know, close to Niagara region, certain parts. So, uh, you know, so um, things are going to get scarce. You won't be able to go uh, 
to buy or eat fish because it's it's gonna it's all contaminated and this is all orchestrated you know by the elite and ultimately it's orchestrated by the heavenly father because they feel like um and because they feel like they're a part of their whole plan is to um you know is to decrease the world population right we all accept the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Let me see what's happening. Over in Turkey and Syria, there was a big earthquake, right? And uh, police over, uh, they say over 600,000 people died, which is, I'm sure it's a lot more. All right, there's probably uh, like over 100,000 who died, right? Because, you know, Esau, he's... Uh, he plays with certain numbers, right? Data. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful words for fulfillment. We see what's going on. Uh, I was just watching a video. I think it was on YouTube about um, the child uh, with the the, 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 the the Pope, right? With the whole, uh, the whole uh, Roman church, what they do when basically, uh, you know, the, the the, the the wickedness what they do man you know with the whole uh the whole p ring right i can't even say it because uh they might uh you know because they might clip the video but um uh, you know this place is wicked man you know a lot of the wickedness happens on this land throughout the world man and that's why uh the lord the Hawashai, you know, and the angels and the elect are going to uh, set things right side up because this world is upside down, man. And basically, we need a um, savior. We need a order. We need the Ahawashai, you know, to set up a uh, shop, man, to set up rain so that we could be free from uh, this sinful flesh, this sinful world, man, because... Uh, Things is so wicked, man. This world is so wicked. Therefore, said the Lord, "Oh, hold my tongue no more. I touch their wickedness, which they profanely commit. And in the world, I suffer those things, in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. So we're complaining continually, man. You know, this place is completely off. You know, contrary to the heavenly Father. You know, contrary to the to the elect." You know, contrary to the Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you know, the 12 patriarchs and the elect, man. Like the, and that's why the Lord, he's only dealing with a small uh, sanctuary, man. So uh, with that, let us all praise you. Do unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudas, the warrant of the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. Um, shalom.